Right, welcome back to another No Limits video. No. Welcome back to another No Limits video. In this one, we're going to have a look at the engine in my big green Jeep, see what's gone wrong with that. So see what's where it is and well, what's what the issue is and whether it's a quick, easy fix or whether we're up for a bit more work. So, all right, we'll uh, we'll get stuck straight into and we'll work out what's going on. I can tell just by the way she fired up that it's not right. The compression's definitely not even, so maybe it's just spat a push rod out, uh, back to rock her off or something like that. But I uh, said so we'll uh, I'll hook in. I'll get all the top of this thing pulled apart, and we'll have a look, see what's going on. I'm being optimistic to start with and I'm going to decide it's for some reason drop the push rod. So I'll pull, I'll pull this pipe off and pull the rocker cover and see what's going on in there. And then if it's not in there then we'll keep delving deeper and see what's going on. pressure line off for the turbo. I could do with a valve adjustment, but... Definitely 
definitely not. So whatever has gone wrong is in number one cylinder. So I went through and cracked all the injector lines and you can hear the difference on the back five, but there was no change to the way it ran on that front cylinder. So I said, whatever's gone wrong has gone wrong in that cylinder, which yeah, means basically the motor's got to come out, be stripped down. So it did make a funny noise this morning whilst driving it. So I'm wondering if it's broken rings. And the way it cranks, it cranks like it's got a dead hole. Doesn't sound like it's dropped a valve, but I'm wondering if it's broken rings. Well, we'll have to come up with a plan and go from there. But yeah, basically the old girl's out of action for a little bit, which is a pain. Anyway. It'll get fixed. I just gotta work out how. Right, so yeah, motor and all the fronts off it. Uh, and yeah, the rest of this video was actually supposed to be pulling the motor out, pulling the front clip off, the bumper and everything, the winch. But I've lost all that footage. Uh, yeah, SD card decided it didn't want to play the game anymore, so. Uh, instead, we're going to have a moment of silence and pay our respects to the 2H. Uh, I've had that motor for a long time. I've actually had the motor longer than I've had this Jeep. So, go back. I bought it in 2005 in the form of a 86 Total Land Cruiser wagon. So, I said we'll um, we'll go through and put some. I'll find any clips I can of it driving around and full driving and just generally being being the old cruiser that it was um, it's ups and downs it's upside downs and right through to when it became the Jeep so well, um, yeah we'll play those through at the moment yes I bought that the first, that was my first Land Cruiser I bought in 2005. So the 2H in it, just the motor out of that car, and yeah, we drove that car around everywhere. Me and my brother and my mates had a great time in it. Uh, yeah, until it's, it's not even its demise. It um, it went through a few iterations oh, no. before it got replaced. To be honest, uh, 
and then it was there on the day it was just sitting there so that became the motor of choice for the right. big green jeep and yeah that's that's why it had a 2h in it if, if you haven't wondered why run around such a big old truck with a 2h in it uh, yeah for those Pretty unfamiliar good. with what the 2 H is, it's a 4 litre push rod Toyota diesel. Um, normally came naturally aspirated. The one that we're running in the Jeep did have an aftermarket turbo kit on it. And that was about it, nothing special. They were a solid old motor, so I said we'll uh, pay our respects to it and go on to bigger and better things. Yeah, well, that's, that's it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed a little bit of a, a history and things on the old the old 2H and where it come from. Uh, yeah, it'd be a bit sad to see it go. But anyway, like I said, we'll um, run to some, something different. And um, But you'll have to stay tuned for that one. So hit the subscribe, the thumbs up, you know, like the video, share it with your friends. And yeah join me in the next one and we'll um we might reveal what the master plan is for this and yeah and my next step moving forward so all right until the next one